Joining us tonight is Tom Fitton. He's the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, great to have you here. Good to be and with Comey you. has decided that clearly he was wrong about at least a small sliver of what was subversion. Well, he says he was wrong to rely on these bureaucrats who evidently he didn't know uh, to run the uh, Crossfire Hurricane. Uh, one of the big lies of that interview was the idea that this was going on seven seven layers below him. He was intimately involved in running Crossfire Hurricane. In fact, after meeting with Barack Obama uh, in early January of 2017, he took that dossier and went to President Trump, or then President-elect Trump, and confronted it with him, and uh, confronted with him with it. And he used that meeting as part of the investigation of Crossfire Hurricane. He ran downstairs and ran over to the, severe, uh, uh, to the secure video conference to talk to his Crossfire Hurricane team about what he discovered. He was spying on Trump directly. And to say this was all happening mm -hmm. seven layers beyond, below him was a big lie. The lies have not ended, uh, even though at least uh, being caught, at, uh, the inescapably acknowledged uh, that perhaps he was wrong, if not guilty. Uh, the, the truth is more likely guilty, and we're probably going to see that guilt, uh, if not admitted, at least demonstrated, proved. Uh, your, your stance on the uh, Inspector General report uh, Michael Horowitz and what he did convey in that report uh, that went well beyond at least the uh, preface which was uh, no political bias at the inception. Well there's a cavalcade of criminality exposed in this report and uh, he pretended not to know one way or another what to conclude about all the misconduct he described and essentially gave it over to the Justice Department to do with what they will, and we'll see what they will do with it. The last IG report referred James Comey specifically for criminal prosecution over his handling of the FBI memos, the president's FBI files that he took and leaked improperly. Uh, will they prosecute Comey and people like that now? I don't know. There's at least one lawyer who was referred specifically for prosecution, mm -hmm. and we'll see what Mr. Durham and Mr. Barr want to do next. They've both intimated, the Attorney General as well as his special counsel, uh, John Durham, uh, that they're not pleased with the report of the Inspector General and all of its uh, uh, conclusions, uh, and that they, they imply that there will be far more uh, energy uh, in their criminal investigation. Well, I'm not seeing evidence. I'm sorry to be the wet blanket. I'm not seeing any evidence of a criminal investigation. Mm -hmm. I suspect there's going to be another report, uh, but we all know what criminal investigations look like of a significant nature, and I'm not seeing any of the indicia. Well, I, I don't think that anyone will blame you for be paying attention to what has been our experience to this point. Uh, but the, I'm hopeful, but it, I'm waiting. Okay, and wait, we shall. That much is assured. Uh, let, let's turn very quickly to the House impeachment vote uh, coming this week. Uh, two charges. Uh, they are milk toast charges, if ever we've seen them. They're unprecedented charges. There is no crime in these charges. Uh, your thoughts? Well, it's an impeachment about nothing, and I think uh, the president and his White House and those who support the rule of law should be still trying to stop it. Uh, we're being told it's inevitable, but we should be trying to stop it because how, how it will be terribly damaging. It? I think one way to stop it is to increase the penalty for doing it, which is to make sure that Adam Schiff is set to go before the Senate and testify and hold, be held to account for his misconduct in terms of his communications, his staff's communications with the whistleblower leaker, and his uh, illicitly obtaining and publishing the private phone records of the president's lawyers and other innocent Americans. It's likely that only Nancy Pelosi could stop it now. Uh, what, what pressure, what persuasion could you bring to bear, or should, are you recommend to be brought to bear, uh, to, uh, to blunt the vote? Well, that would be the key pressure at this point, in my view, which is to make it clear that their handling of impeachment is going to be on trial, not Donald Trump in the Senate. And the Senate should right now say, this is, this is not going anywhere. There's prosecutorial misconduct. And to the degree we're going to do an investigation in the Senate, it's going to be a Adam Schiff. It also might be important, I think, to remind Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer that, in point of fact, this is unprecedented in another respect. This is going after a president, not in his second term, but in his first term. Uh, that is something that, uh, well, 
I think that they might regret even uh, more uh, because they are sure to fail and there are sure to be longer lasting consequences of uh, this colossal affront to uh, the American people and our Constitution. Uh, hopefully they might consider that here tonight. I hope so. Tom Fenton, thanks for being here. We're always delighted to consider what you've got to say. Thank Appreciate you. it. You're Tom Fenton, Judicial Watch.